Myeloid immune cells, such as dendritic cells, macrophages, and neutrophils, have important protective functions. Their concerted action limits the spreading of infectious pathogens and enables the execution of innate and adaptive immune responses. However, under certain pathological conditions, immune cells can be reprogrammed and hijacked by diseased cells, which may result in a disease-promoting activity. In the following animated movie, this process is described for myeloid cells using the example of cancer. This patient has lung cancer. As in most patients with solid tumors, immune modulating factors, either directly produced or indirectly induced by tumor cells, are released into the circulation and can reach the bone marrow. Here, those factors disturb the normal proliferation and differentiation of myeloid cells. As a consequence, larger numbers of functionally altered myeloid cells are released into the systemic circulation. The well-known increased neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio in the peripheral blood of cancer patients is a reflection of this process. The progressing tumor is well connected to the peripheral blood system through a process known as angiogenesis. Distinct tumor-induced factors alter the tumor vasculature, which then functions as an entry port for the circulating myeloid cells. Chemoattractants direct the myeloid cells into the tumor tissue. Here, under the influence of tumor cells, tumor-associated fibroblasts, and other cells of the tumor microenvironment, the incoming myeloid cells are further reprogrammed. Such tumor-associated macrophages and neutrophils often promote, rather than limit, cancer growth. Several therapeutic options to interfere with these processes exist. Antagonists of chemokine receptors are one example. These are agents which bind to specific receptors on tumor-promoting myeloid cells and prevent the entry of these cells into the tumor tissue.